Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought I would just do my everyday makeup routine. So, let's start. Um, I'm going to start off with the Photo Finish Primerizer from Smashbox. It is a primer and moisturizer in one. I do use moisturizer and serum underneath as well, um, but I do find it works super well as a primer as well as keeping your skin hydrated. I know previously I've said I hate primers. This is the only one I've ever found that I like and it has definitely changed my skincare routine and my makeup routine as well. Next I'm gonna use the Becca Skin Love Glow Essence in Glow Nectar because it gives you a more even glow. It's also kind of not a serum, but it's like a hydrating product as well. So it's perfect for summer, super lightweight, and it is colorless as well. And the iconic one it works really well when I have tan on, but if I don't have tan, it kind of makes my face a lot darker than my body. So that is all on. Um, another, I guess, new favorite, old favorite, something I've recently I've discovered a while ago, but I never really got on board with it, is the Hourglass, what's it called, Vanish. Um, I bought it in the US a while ago. And so I went into Mecca, the girl recommended this, especially coming into summer, because it's just super lightweight. So I thought I would try it again. Um, so I used the color Shell, and I did get the Hourglass brush, which comes, doesn't come with it, but it's recommended to buy it with it as well. Um, just so that I can actually use them together and so the foundation is at the best of its ability. So once that's all rubbed in, I'm just going to use my MAC concealer. Um, this one I keep going, I go between MAC and the NARS one. This one's just the Mineralized Concealer in NW20 and just a tiny bit under the eyes. And I've been using the same Vanish brush as well just to really blend it in. Um, so next I'm going to bronze. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Filmstar Bronze and Blush Glow. This is my absolute favorite. Just bronze a tiny bit. And then just a tiny bit on the forehead just to shape and I guess contour my face. I don't really like saying contour because I don't really do that too much, but just to create a bit of shadow. Um, then I'm going to use the blush one here as well. This one is so pigmented you only need the tiniest bit ever, but it just gives you the most beautiful flushed glow. Alrighty. And then I always do like a tiny bit over the nose just so that it looks kind of like sun-kissed in a way just a bit of, a little bit more natural um, I've been using the Becca Hydra Mist set and refresh powder I just use a tiny bit on a fluffy brush because I feel like this section and this section I always lose my makeup there for some really weird reason so I've been trying to set it and I have been loving it just a little bit under the eye and also over the eyelid and then of course just down here as well so that's done. You only need the tiniest, tiniest bit as well. It goes a long way. Um, next, I'm going to do my eyebrows, I think. Um, I haven't really been doing much to my brows because I had them tattooed not so long ago. Um, they have definitely faded, and I don't know if I would tattoo them again. Um, I love the look of them being tattooed. They're a lot less maintenance, but when you do have to fill in or draw them in, it becomes a lot harder when they are tattooed because you kind of have to color match and you're kind of like not really drawing over hairs. You're drawing over tattooed bits just to make the color the same. Um, and because they have faded, they're like a weird gray color. So I don't know if I would tattoo them again. I think I'll just let them grow back and then just do them myself. Um, but I've been using the Benefit Ka Brow and then the MAC Brow Set, which is like a super metallic brown. It is perfect for tattooed brows because it gives them like a 3D look. Um, 
what people probably don't know is that when they tattoo them they make them more even and suit your face shape and whatever else which means they pluck a lot of your actual hairs out and you end up with not much obviously your brows grow back which is great um, so if you do tattoo them, don't stress, it's not permanent, it's only semi-permanent. Um, but when you use clear brow gels and stuff like that, they just don't cut it. So the MAC one is my absolute favourite for tattooed brows because of the metallic nature. So it makes them look more 3D than they actually are. Um, so next I might do eyes. I have been switching between palettes lately. This is the Bobbi Brown Christmas one. It is called Starlight Crystal. It's perfect for every day because there's some really, really neutral colors and then there's also some gold metallics and like a silver eye as well if you wanted to do like a smoky eye. And the other one is the Too Faced Pretty Rich palette, which is my newest palette. It is the one I'm probably most excited about. I used this for my Christmas party look, which was super cool. You all loved. Um, it was like a hot pink metallic eye and a pink lip as well, using the Too Faced lip glosses. So maybe I might do that one for New Year's for you all. Let me know. But this one has some insane shades. So all the metallics, all the glitters are super, super pigmented. You can pretty much use your finger, dab it on, and it stays on, super pigmented, and it completely covers your eyelid. So I've been using that as well. Probably not the best to travel with because it is so chunky, but it's definitely on my vanity. I've been using it at home. So I'm going to use colors from both of those. Um, and... I did get some new brushes as well. This is my favorite from Real Techniques, Deluxe Crease Brush, and I've still just got my, whoopsie daisies, Mecca ones that I always tend to use. So I'm going to use the color Fancy That, which is like this torpy brown matte color, and just go all over the eyelid. I feel like in summer as well, I tend to reach for browns and I guess like more pinky ready colors and then in winter I like to go for more neutral nudes and beiges. I think as well because the tone of your skin changes um, in summer and winter and you just, I don't know, different things suit different seasons. So I'm just going to go all over my eyelid, almost up to my brow, just blend it all out. It's like the perfect base and nude shade and then I just Go a little bit out of the corner just to give it kind of like a cat eye look. Um, I'm really heavy handed with my eye makeup too because I just go in later and fix it up. So yeah, there we go. Um, then I'm just going to take the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush um, and just put in a color. What color am I going to use today? I'm going to use this from the Bobbi Brown palette, this like pinky metallic one and just use like a tiny bit just across my actual eyelid just to give it like a really nice sheen. It's a very similar color to the base as well so it's not going to add too much color for every day. I tend to not do, I do the same base and makeup every day in the same palettes but I tend to choose different colors or do like different eye looks. They never vary all that much, but just a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to get my Mecca contour brush, which is just this really tiny like pointy brush and get the Don't Carrot at All, which is like a super pigmented gold and just pop it in the middle of my eyelid. Gives you kind of like a halo look, but it's just super, super pretty. It finishes off the eye really well. And then just go in with my blending brush and just blend that all out. Um, the other thing as well, there's a really cool shade called Clutch Your Pearls, which is like really pearlescent shade. And I'm just going to pop that on the inner corners of my eye. And so that's my eyes done for every day. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is mascara. Um, at the moment, I'm kind of in between mascaras. I go between Too Faced Better Than Sex. Um, there's a MAC one that I use, I think it's called Extended Play, and there's another one that I use from them, um, and there's a Marc Jacobs mascara as well. Um, I've been testing out the Genie Lash Booster mascara, 
just because I received it in one of my Christmas gifts so I thought I would give it a try until it runs out. Um, it's pretty good. I'm not loving it as much as I love all my other mascaras like Better Than Sex but it's a good little change. So I'm just going to pop the lash booster on and then I'm going to get the Million Dollar Mascara on my top lashes. When it comes to mascara every day I don't put too much on. Um, I would prefer to like reapply throughout the day if I need a little pick me up. Definitely if I'm going out or to events I definitely pop a lot more on. Um, the one thing I do love about this mascara is that it does have the booster and so it kind of acts like a primer. You can separate your lashes with it and really prime your lashes and then when this goes on it definitely makes them look longer. Um, it just does drop a little bit as well which I don't particularly like especially when I'm wearing it all day. Um, bottom lashes I use the MAC Play Giga Black Extended Play Giga Black Lash. Really hard to say. Um, it's just like a really tiny brush so it's perfect for your bottom lashes. Um, next I'm going to do highlight which I have been using the Mecca Cosmetica Enlightened Powder. Um, I tend to use a lot of different highlighters but this one is my everyday one um, and I've been using it with this Too Faced brush. It is the highlighting brush. It's really dense so it picks up a lot of product. It puts it in the smallest space and it's really precise. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, so I've just been putting it, dabbing it down there a little bit and you can see already how amazing this highlighter is. It is probably one of the best I've come across um, and it has like a super pinky bronzy color to it so I use this brush and then I blend it out with another one um, but I love that it do that it's not like white, it doesn't like brighten or anything like that it just gives you this super super nice sheen and super natural sheen as well and then this one is just like a Colourpop F13 fan brush um, but a super thick one so it really gets in there and blends it all out and then I'm just going to pop a tiny bit down my nose on my cupid's bow and then on my chin as well and then same just blend that out you can probably just use this brush in the highlighter I just like to have it more precise and then blend it out alrighty um, then I'm going to just do my lips mm. so I'm gonna line my lips today um, I'm gonna use the MAC prep and prime first just to coat them because they have been a bit dry and really prime them that was a lot whoops um, then I'm just going to use the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in pillow talk you can see how much I've used it it is tiny and there's nothing left um, and just line the outside of my lips There we go. And then I'm going to use the NARS lip pencils, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. This color is vicious. Um, love this. It's just like a super neutral pink and I love the pencils because they're just so easy to use. And then the last step I use is the James Reed Tan H2O Mist. Um, I like any setting mist, Max Fix Plus. There's a one from the Iconic as well, which I love anything that really sets your makeup. I just love this in summer because it does give you a gradual tan over time and it just sets your makeup, keeps you hydrated, makes you look good all day. So finish off with that. And I use quite a bit. Um, and then I'm just going to get my brush again and just, while it's still a bit wet, just blend it all down my neck. Alrighty. So that is my everyday makeup routine. Um, it's pretty much what I do every single day. The palettes, I use different colors depending on what I'm doing, um, but this is what I would do for a natural look, going to work, anything like that. Um, and then you can always add a colored lip or add a different color eyeshadow and really vamp it up. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see for New Year's Eve look and I will get shooting. See you soon.